Hello there, and welcome to this video highlighting one of the new features or enhancements to the Cisco Secure Firewall. This is one in a series of videos created to discuss and demonstrate the latest updates within the 6.7 release of software. In this video, I'll talk about and show you a workflow enhancement we've introduced, in particular, the bulk object upload feature. Now, you may already be aware that it's been possible to perform bulk object uploads for some time now, via the REST API. This enhancement, however, introduces the ability to import multiple objects from within the FMC user interface via comma-separated value files, or CSVs. As you can see, we perform bulk uploads of network, port, URL, VLAN, and distinguished name objects for use within the various security policies. In previous versions, if you were not comfortable using the REST API method, objects created via the user interface were done one at a time which is obviously time consuming and not at all efficient if you need to add large numbers of objects. The bulk upload feature will streamline the object creation process and help you to reduce operational overheads. First, you will need to create a CSV file containing the objects you wish to upload. Once you have the CSV file, simply navigate to the object management screen and select the option to import objects. Browse to your file and select import. In this release, we support up to 1,000 entries within the CSV file, or a maximum file size of 1 megabyte. Once the import is complete, you are provided with a status report detailing the outcome of the import, including any issues that were encountered. Just before we see a demonstration, there are a couple of guidelines or good-to-know details that I wanted to cover. Here we see an example CSV file for network objects. The column headers at the top are mandatory and case sensitive, so please bear that in mind when you're using this feature. The code used to create and validate the objects from the CSV file is existing code, so the same syntax requirements apply as if you were adding individual objects. And a temporary folder is created on the FMC during the import. This folder is deleted once the import has finished, regardless of the outcome of the import. Now let's take a look at a demo. To perform a bulk object upload using the new import object feature, we first need to navigate to objects and then object management. This places us in the network objects window by default, and it's from here that we would typically come to add individual objects by selecting add network and then add object. Then we would complete the fields and repeat the process for each object we wanted to create. Now we have the option to import object and clicking this, we see the guidelines for the upload that I mentioned earlier and the option to browse to our CSV file, select it and then to import it. Once the import is complete, we see the status report along with an option to view the objects that have been imported. This report would also highlight any issues that occurred during the import phase. Clicking OK, we see that we now have our network objects imported and we can now begin to use them within our security policies. For those people that aren't aware, if you want to delete multiple objects at the same time, you can simply select the objects, right click on them, and then select delete. Alternatively, Clicking on the rubbish bin or trash icon allows you to delete individual objects. Before we finish, I just wanted to show you some of the possible status reports that could occur once the import is complete. Here we can see that an import failed because a CSV file containing object names that already exist in the FMC was imported. Whilst here, we see that two objects were successfully imported, whilst two other objects were skipped due to errors. And there is a link to see what those errors are. That concludes our demonstration. Thank you for taking the time to watch this update video. There is more content available covering the other new features in the 6.7 release, as well as new content covering topics associated with the Cisco Secure Firewall. As always, we recommend that you read the release notes for each new release, along with the configuration guide, to get more information on the topics highlighted in these videos. Hope to see you again soon.